Yes, what's everyone saying? Welcome back. Okay, the immortal one, Dr. Rappel, the most respected. Okay, um, how do we even start with this? Doggate and Dekahege. And I'm going to um, tell you good people what I really think's happened. And I'm going to speak from the heart. I'm not here. As everybody knows I'm not here to take sides. I'm not here to, you know what I mean? I'm completely neutral. I'm completely independent in all of this. Um, shenanigans but um okay let's start with what we know okay there was um some recent accusations from uh, none other than uh cullen mace from the central podcast central podcast central pod pod whatever anyway i don't really know you know then no no offense to cullen he's okay i do remember when he was on a thousand subs Begging for anybody to appear on his um, podcast. But we're not here to um, talk about that. We're here to talk about Doggate and what really happened. Now, what people don't know, what Decker don't know, and what Cullen doesn't know, I happen to have one of my best friends that was there that night during that little drinkathon, should we say. Okay, um, He's probably my best friend from Wales. And he's someone that always kind of keeps me up to date with what's going on around that area, which is not a lot, to be fair. And the person in question, Cullen, knows very, very well. Okay, so the night in question, my friend, my dear, dear friend, was drinking with Decker, uh, Cullen's father, um, and a few other drinkers, and he witnessed the following... Now you got to remember, I only tell the truth. Look into my eyes. I'm not here to, you know, attack anybody. Um, Derek, unfortunately, was intoxicated. So was Callum's father. So was most of the other people in that circle on the uh, night in question. Derek behaved like a complete and utter gentleman. He was courteous. He was respectful. Um, he knew when to say his P's and his Q's. And he was an absolute gent. Now I can tell you, apart from a few tickles on the dog's belly and whatnot, you know, completely innocent. This stuff has been absolutely dramatised by a few other individuals that were there on the night and were, how can we put it, more, intex more intoxicated than Decker. So there you have it. Um, the story, I'm afraid to say, as much as it sounds, you know, mad, it is mad, it is mad. Come on, people. Come on. Are you next, you'll be believing little, little green men, you know, come down. You will, anything that's negative, use lot, will believe. And I, I do know that a lot of these people on this part of YouTube are simpletons. They are people that have issues upstairs, should we put it this way, and they will believe literally anything and everything that anyone said. Now imagine someone had said this nonsense, this rubbish about Paul Dumbo Venice or um, Danny Christian of the world. People would have laughed it off. Haters, haters, what, you know, why, how, what, you know. Danny's, um, Danny's a British champion. Paul Dumbo Venice, um, is an ex, whatever he is. Um, no one would have believed it. And it's the same. It, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Now, I've spoke at length today with my trusted contact who was there from Wales. Cullen, you know who I've been speaking to, yeah? Um, people want to know about the arrest, um, tasered arrest and, um, whatnot. I am not in a position to tell you that information, but let me just tell you this. Don't believe everything you hear. A lot of this stuff is propaganda. A lot of this stuff is getting blown out of proportion, you know? Now, don't forget, Callum wanted a good story. 
he spoke to um, Douglas, who was who is doing the podcast with. Douglas was a um, absolute gentleman, but but they did kind of have that little story <laughs> between them. <laughs> now things did happen on the night in question. Things did happen that got a little bit. How can we put it? Um, rowdy, rowdy. But nothing happened like that. And you know, for I'm not even. That's why I'm not even going to mention the stupidness, the rumours that are just absolutely sick. Do you know what I mean? If if I hear that, they make me want to vomit. I can't eat. It makes me want to vomit. For you lot, you tittle tattle gossips to be spreading malicious stuff like that. Hold your head in shame over one man, Cullen, Cullen, Cullen Mace, who might, might I just say was fairly intoxicated himself on the evening in question. You know that, Cullen. You know you had many, many drinks. Your judgment was clouded. That's why you scarped off to bed early. Don't give me all the old, you left them in the, him in the trust of your... Your friends, your father, your auntie, blah de blah de blah. You, mate, you had a few. You wasn't well. You crept off to bed. You know what I mean? To have a little siesta. You know, and um, and that's the end of it. All right. And for the rumours to have been s spread and then snowballed, 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 snowballed into something so vile. Something so inhumane. And it's got all the little simpletons, all the little gossips in the comments believing it. Believing such a disgusting claim. People, I'm going to end the video now. I'm just going to say, open your mind. Whatever you think of Decker, good, bad, you know. First we heard um, women. Then we heard children. Now we hear canines. What next? Guinea pigs? Hamsters? You know, what next? Little green men? You lot would literally believe anything that's told to you. Anything. You have got to be the most easily led, the most naive bunch of simpletons I've ever come across. Have a good day.